Namugongo is a township in the central region of Uganda where the largest Christian pilgrimage is in Africa. And it was named Namugongo of the act of making people lie on their backs for the torture. The Namugongo shrines are dedicated to the 22 martyrs and saints of Uganda who were martyred between 1885 and 1887 by the king of Buganda, Kabakamwanga II. The blood of the Ganymates is the seed of our faith. If you look at these statues here, these were dragged on their back from all the way from where they were caught from up to Namugongo here, the execution center. The chief executioner called Mukajanga dwells. And in this place, this is where people were brought and they were judged before they were executed. This other place here, there is a tree which is called the persecution tree or the exe execution tree. This is a place where the people were sort of cut off, they chopped off their, their limbs and they were given an opportunity to deny Jesus Christ being their Lord and Savior. They were speared in their hearts. Sometimes they cut off pieces of their hands in order to give them an opportunity out of pain so that they can re renounce Christ. But they decided to say no. We have decided to follow Jesus to the chief executioner, whom the chief executioner, Mukajanga, got surprised to see his own nephew. When they asked him, have you also accepted Jesus Christ? He said, yes, uncle, I am ready to go. And he tried to give him all opportunity to deny his faith. He said, uncle, I have accepted to die for my faith. Namgongo shrines were first recognized by Joshua Serufusa when he was the Sebatu of Chiwasab County. He constructed a structure at the Namgongo site where it appears shrines were built later for prayer. Joshua Serufusa's interest in Christianity was enhanced by his father's participation in two wars that brought Christianity into Uganda. The most prominent shrine is Namgongo, which is located where St. Charles Shrine and his companions were burned. Huge numbers turning up at Namugongo. The entrepreneurial element in Ugandans is visible. At the time matters were butchered, Namugongo was a forest and a convenient killing field of the Mukajanga, the chief executioner. He took orders from Kabakamwanga to eliminate pages who had found a new faith that threatened the authority of the Kabaka and implemented them ruthlessly. Some of the young men who are now venerated as martyrs were burnt, others speared and chopped to death. Mukajanga's office was located at the Anglican shrine. After a busy day chopping, he would go down to the valley to wash his blood-stained weapons. The well he used has been preserved and exists today. Having trekked hundreds of miles from different parts of the country, it has become a routine ritual for them to walk. Not only do they walk in remembrance, but in supplication that they too have strong faith as the martyrs. And also pray that the 19th century martyrs intercede for them to go to lift their burdens. 
Martyrs Day is the national public holiday in Uganda on June 3rd. The day commemorates the 45 martyrs, both Catholic and Anglican, who were killed on the orders of Kabaka Mwanga II. From the start of his reign in 1884, King Mwanga had viewed foreign missionaries as the greatest threat to his kingdom and the power base. He expelled missionaries and threatened converts to renounce their new faith or face executions. Thank you.